What's up guys? My name is Khan and we're back today with more Crash Lander Survival and today we're going to uh we're going to go talk to Bill. We got back to the base after getting out of the elevator and the mine shaft. Apparently, I missed like everything in the mine shaft. A lot of you guys were saying I missed a lot of stuff and uh something that would help us get all the stuff when we go back to the mine shaft would be to have a headlamp. Apparently, there's a lot of blueprints in there that I missed. And uh, a lot of things that we need to go back for. So we're definitely going to have to do that at some point in time. We'll craft ourselves one of these headlights. And then we'll go back into the mine shaft and, uh, and we'll get some of that stuff. But today, I want to go talk to Bill and uh, maybe do some side quests for Bill. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to build a few more chests. Because my inventory is currently full. And uh, yeah, I just, I just need more space for storing random stuff is sort of how it goes. Let's just put... A bunch, look at all that scrap metal we got. Wonderful. We got switch. We're just going to dump literally like stuff everywhere. I kind of want to, honestly, my thought, and this is just, you know, I'll see what you guys say, but I want to put the refinery on a vehicle that's like a tank. So it has like an electric drive tank. And to make it easier, I was just going to use a suspension glitch to turn it because it's less parts. If we do an electric drive with all the double bearings and stuff, we need a lot of motors. Um, but when we do the suspension glitch, we only really need one motor, and then we can have a suspension glitch to turn. And then I was thinking on that vehicle, we would throw a small alternator so it could generate its own batteries as well. But, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of that. We also have a couple gas engines, which is great. Um, but we might use those for boats or something. Although we're not really very close to the ocean. Maybe there's ocean that way. But yeah, really exciting. Um, so if you guys haven't caught up with the story so far, it's pretty simple. We're on a planet. We're doing a bunch of stuff. We're, uh, we're on a planet. We were sent here by one company, Company B. I can't remember what they're called. Some gonk engineering or something like that. Pretty sure, maybe, I don't know, gank engineering. I don't know, something like that. And uh, there was a company here called Forterra, and they were really bad, and they did a bunch of illegal stuff, including the mine that we just discovered. They did a bunch of illegal mining, and uh, and yeah, now we're now we're sort of uncovering that Bill was the assistant to the bosses, and then Bill sabotaged the whole mining operation because when we went into the mine, it looked like the entire thing was blown up a bit, and Bill was all like, "I just pulled a prank on them," which apparently a prank involved explosives, and uh, that's the way it is. Is it sad that I can get to Bill's house now without the waypoint, or is that just is that a good thing? I don't know. I, I can get here without the waypoint. It's kind of hilarious. But anyway, good times were had by all. And now we're going to see what Bill has to say for himself about this uh, this crazy prank that he pulled. Hey, Bill, what's up? Oh, also, we need a farm. Yeah, we only have five beets left. I totally forgot about that. I literally need to start farming or else we're just going to start starving again. So we got to do lots of things to do. I might take... We got a bunch of pistons. I might have to start, like, working on the automatic farm next. That might be an important thing. Having a, a good supply of crops is kind of a good thing. And, you know, we should get some guns and then make an automatic farm and defend it with guns. That would probably be, you know, very important things to do in the next few episodes. But anyway, let's talk to Bill. Good afternoon, Bill. I have some questions for you. Lots of questions. What happened? I, yeah, I looked around the HQ and I found... We're talking about this again? Bro, we already went over this. We found the boss's stuff, we found the elevator, we found the mine shaft. That's great. Bill says, oh yeah, were you able to find anything in the caves that explain the collapsing? This, the, Bill, you do not sound innocent at all. You sound so guilty. And yeah, no, I'm coming to you. I didn't know this mine or elevator existed. Sure, Bill. Sure, Bill. That's great. Yeah, your friends, your friends ratted you out, Bill. They told me that you, that you knew about the thing. And so I know that you know that you knew. It doesn't matter, Bill. Your bad prank involved lots of explosives. All right, Bill says that uh, he found out about the mine and questioned his boss, and his boss told him to keep his mouth shut or that he would get fired. But don't worry, I made sure to blow up places where I knew nobody would get hurt. That's great. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm pretty sure if you went and blew stuff up when you were getting fired from a job, um, you would, yeah, you would, you would, you would get criminally charged. I don't know. No wonder Bill's hiding in a shack in the woods. All right, so Bill's explaining the high-voltage blueprints. The high-voltage cables are apparently for the big drills in the mines. They're very power-hungry. So I guess if I build the high-voltage cables and the high-voltage batteries, I can hook them up to the big drills that were there, and then we can power the big drill and unlock more of the mines, I guess is what we're supposed to do. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay, and the master battery from my spaceship emits radiation, which is the battery that we use to, to put in that battery slot that goes with the high-voltage cables. So I guess we have to track down the rest of my spaceship 
by the radiation we're emitting. So that'll be easy enough. And then I guess we can power the mine and unlock the next part. That's so cool. I like that. Lucky for you, I have a blueprint for the exact thing we'll need to search. Oh, does he have like a freaking... What do you what do you got, Bill? What? Where's... Oh, recipes unlock Geiger counter. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. So we can search for radiation with the Geiger counter. That's perfect. All right, Bill. You wait right there. I'll be back in a sec. I'm just going to go get some glue, Bill. And then we're going to talk about what else you need done around your house. But it makes sense. So, a little bit of a summary there. Pretty simple stuff. Bill blew up the mine, obviously. It wasn't really rocket science to figure that one out. And uh, he blew up the mine because he was going to get fired because he found out about the mine. So, you know, he found out about the mine. The, uh, the company that Bill worked for wasn't supposed to mine on the planet, and they were doing it anyway. And Bill tried to say, hey, man, you're not supposed to mine on the planet. And his boss said, hey, man, you're fired. And then Bill blew up the mine because, you know... Nothing says getting fired like blowing up something. I mean, just, just, dude, just like write an angry note and leave. Or even better, just like leave and not say anything is sort of the best way to leave your job. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, Bill blew up the mines, but Bill also said that there is more depth to the mine with uh, better resources. There's more resources in the mine, but, uh, you know, the, the big drills need to be powered. And in order to power the big drills, we have to build some high voltage cables with one of those, uh, one of those battery packs, and the battery pack takes a big battery, and the big battery is the big battery from our spaceship, which is radioactive, and we're gonna get it by building a Geiger counter. So, all pretty simple stuff, kinda cool, and then we're gonna use our crashed ship to, I guess, um, go deeper into the mines, would be the next part of the story. We're not gonna get to that just yet, though, I wanna do a few things in the story first, which is going to take a few episodes, I would imagine. Number one, I want to get some side quests done because there's side quests for all the HQ people as well as for Bill. And, uh, you know, those are some blueprints that we could potentially get better items, etc. So I want to get all that done. And uh, number two, I want to make sure that we um, that we go and, uh, and do some more base building stuff, get some uh, automatic farming going so we can get some better resources. We definitely need automatic farming. I'm literally going to starve to death here pretty soon. So we need to get some automatic farming going. That would be great. And uh, and better resources that way. And then I also want to uh, make sure that we um, get some better vehicles as well. And go back into the mine and re-explore it with a headlight. Because apparently I missed a whole ton of useful stuff. So, 18,577,000 things still to do in this survival playthrough. And uh, it's just kind of great that there's so much stuff that you have to get done. I literally haven't done any base building, and we've done so many episodes. Like, it's insane when I think about it. Like, we used to play survival, and we'd be like, all right, let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, whatever. But you could pretty much get to a warehouse within, like, a few episodes, you know? Kill one red guy by smashing him with your lift, and uh, and then you get a key, and then you can open up a warehouse. In this mod, there's so much to do, and we haven't really gotten very far in terms of base building or, like, you know, even unlocks. Like, I don't even have all this stuff unlocked yet. Like, I don't know what this is. This looks like some sort of delivery platform. I don't know why we have a delivery platform. Required component for powering large buildings. I have a feeling we hook this up to the uh, to the actual um, thingy, the drill. That's going to be cool. Let's see what Bill has us do. We're probably going to have to drive back to the base and then come back to Bill's. Yeah, side quest, Bill. What do you got? Bring food crates to Justin. Oh, I got to bring him all the way to Justin. Kill 20 wolves. Build a shed for Bill. Okay. Uh, I mean, we can, this is, this is pretty easy. Let's do kill 20 wolves first, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do the food crates some other time when we're actually planning on going back to the HQ. I wasn't really planning on going back to the HQ, um, today. I'm gonna make a new truck first. So we'll do that once we've built a new truck, and then use it as a way to test our new truck, go back to the HQ. But we'll do kill 20 wolves first, and then, uh, and then we'll get new armor recipes, which I haven't even built, like, the basic wolf armor yet. I should probably do that, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. The wolf armor, apparently, if you have all the sets, uh, stops the wolves. Oh, that's just the mine elevator waypoint. Cool. It stops the wolves from attacking you, unless you attack them first, which is interesting. But, uh, yeah, we have to kill 20 of them. 20 wolves. Now I'm going to drive around and just uh, find 20 wolves to kill, I guess. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm an idiot. I, I think... I think... I think there's a way we could actually do this smart. I'm going to go back to base, and we're going to water our crops and fight some raids. And then we can get crops as well as kill wolves simultaneously, and that'll all work great. So yeah, let's just head back to base. 
set up some crops for the day, and uh, probably in like one raid, we'll get it all done. It's literally the very beginning of the morning, so this will be, we'll only really get the one raid, and then we'll be able to harvest them the next morning. But if we do that, then we should have no problem just, um, you know, getting all 20 wolves in one or two shots, maybe. Might need a couple raids, depending on how many crops we'll grow. But we'll grow, like, the most crops we possibly can. We've got a double thick wall around the crops. It'll be fine. All right, wolf number one, I see you. You're the first one to die. I need a gun. I, I really, really, honestly, I should spend an episode just getting guns. I feel like, can we even craft guns? Guns take parts. I know they take gun parts. Component kits, barrels, barrels take metal three. Okay, so metal three is gonna be, we can make metal three though, metal two, coal, like we have all that stuff. Yeah, metal one, metal two, metal three is the most advanced part, metal three and some pipes. Like it's really not, that's not that, what do you need for those pipes though? I didn't see those larger pipes in the list. Let me get these two chests crafting into the conveyor chests. Uh, somewhere in the list. I'm blind. I can't find them. Hello? Oh, there they are. Perfect. Yeah, where were those large green pipes? Need a large green pipe. Pipe long. Oh, there it is. Pipe long. Someone's attacking me. Hey, what are... Excuse me. You're wolf number two. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. So pipe long. They're down here. Right? I think? That's where I saw them? Yeah, right there. Okay. So that's not bad. So yeah, we can literally make gun parts now. Um, but we'll save that for another day. That's not- because- because we'll just make them all. You, yeah, requires one of those, two of those, three of those. And then to make the guns themselves, collect both of those, we just need one, one. Yeah, we could- we could easily make- we could easily spend a day making guns. Alright, let's uh... Really quickly, let's get our crops planted. Oh, we already have that part for the spud gun. That's cool. Uh, where's my watering can? No. 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 I had a watering can. Did I not? Okay, let's grab our seeds. There it is. Okay. What can we plant? I don't want to plant broccoli because that's tier 3. I don't honestly, I'm just going to plant, I'm going to plant tier 1 stuff. Like potatoes and, and carrots. I think potatoes are tier 1 and a half. But yeah, let's save the broccoli and bananas for a later date. Let's just let's just plant some of this nonsense here. Yeah, no problem. Is that another wolf or is that a cow? I think it's a cow. Oh, it's a bull. Okay. Uh, so we'll just plant more beets. Beets are usually like the way to go. And then of course we'll plant some potatoes. We'll water all that. Need to get more soil? Let me pull up my handy dandy list here. Of who trades what for what. I'm one of those like spreadsheet guys when I play games. If there's, it's got to have a spreadsheet, you know? You need a spreadsheet for every game to just keep track of strategies and, and all sorts of stuff. And mainly look up who the heck trades soil. Alright, Bill trades soil. Two soil for four carrots and 35 coal. And he trades 50 coal for six beets. So we need to grow carrots and beets to get soil from Bill. Uh, so I should have I should have thrown some carrots in here. But yeah, that's what we'll do next time. We'll grow some carrots as well. And then that way we can trade them and get more soil to grow more crops. We're going to need a lot of soil to really uh, make this work. But anyway, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna water this stuff and, uh, and then we're gonna get this raid going. While that stuff is growing, I think what I'm gonna do is chop a road going out that way. Um, so we have a road going in the direction of the HQ, mainly just a road in both directions. At some point in time, we might do a road that way too, but we honestly end up driving off that way to go to Bill's or that way to go to the HQ. So I wanna just have two roads for now and then, of course, we'll replant them with some trees to make them look nicer. But let's grab ourselves some bats from our handy-dandy bat generator. Look at that. Just amazing. And, um, don't have a refining vehicle. So that'll... Might have to just slap it back on the front of this thing for now. The This power saw is honestly, like, the single best thing in the entire game. I can't wait to get the power drill as well. It's gonna be so good. Like it's just it's just insane how fast we can get through trees. And just just hack it all down. Gotta make sure we collect all these saplings too. Because we're gonna wanna use those later. Plant ourselves a tree farm. That's another thing we gotta build too. I gotta build an automatic tree farm. Something that like automatically plants a sapling and then waters it. And then when it grows, there's like a sensor that detects that it's grown, and then it automatically gets cut down by saw blades and then recycled. 
with a refiner and then repeated. Like, you could make a whole automated tree system that just does its own thing. And I mean, obviously, it's not going to work when you're not in the chunk. But when you're in the chunk and it's loaded, like, you just have free wood. It just generates wood for you. And if we used one of these big, big trees, which, I mean, it would be kind of hard because it would have to be a really, really big system. But if we used a big tree, it would generate regular wood. Um, if we used a small tree, it would just generate scrap wood. But either way, we could try some automated farming systems for trees, and I think it would be sweet. Because, uh, then we wouldn't have to do any of this. We just have a wood generator. Not sure if there's something we can do for metal and, like, copper and stuff. Probably not. I think no matter what, we have to go to the mines for that kind of thing. But we'll see. A lot of cool stuff in this mod. Have no idea. Like, we- we barely scratched the surface, honestly, in terms of what we can do with automation and things. All right, less than a minute left. Uh, we're just gonna try and get as much stuff in this collector as we can. Just fill that up, perfect. And then we're just gonna take this whole thing and just put it up on a lift. We'll deal with that. We're gonna grow crops for two days. Oh, it's raining too, that's nice. That's nice, we should be able to harvest this and then do it. But yeah, I'm gonna grow crops for two days and I'm just gonna spend time in the next day um, just hacking out the rest of that roadway. And then that way we'll have a path going through on both directions. Might have to actually build a little bridge here as well. So we don't have to keep driving around. We might build a nice little little wooden bridge here at some point in time. Although it might just get destroyed. Not really a huge deal. But yeah, our base is going to be over here. Or I have to just clear more path out that way. Either way, it's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, we're going to have a road coming out there. Could have done the road. I guess I could have done the road here. But I'm pretty sure over here, there's just too many rocks. Like, I, I drove through here a bunch of times before. My crops are under attack. That's nice. We'll get back over there. Yeah, there's this big rock here. That's right. Every time I try to drive through here, you get stuck on this. Unless I put it right, like, through here in between this. Oh, I could have gone this way, too. Oh, that's such a better roadway. Right through here, through this corn. God, eh. Kind of is, isn't it? Oh, well, shoot. Might have hacked out a bunch of that stuff for no reason. We might have to replant some saplings over there. Yeah, we're gonna- I'm gonna clean that up tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Let's go kill these wolves. Or like, what, like two of them? Maybe? Oh no, my crops are under attack. Are they, though? Yeah, two wolves. Okay, like... Doesn't even matter. Look at- look at the- the pure skill. The pure combat ability. Where- what is- oh, okay. Interesting. Done. Easy. Fight over. Wow, still not grown. Holy cow, we got a new raid timer and everything. I'm gonna grow uh, a bunch of carrots on the next one, just because we're gonna have a bunch of beets from this, and I'd like to be able to trade some of those beets for soil. I'm also gonna gather this corn, uh, because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and like live off milk for a bit, and use our carrots and beets as much as we can to... Uh, actually, no, I'm just gonna grow more beets. We can trade for coal... But I also have... No, I gotta grow carrots too. Because I gotta trade for coal. There's no way... It's like 35 coal for two soil plots. There's no way we're gonna have enough coal in our inventory. So yeah, we're gonna have to trade. We're gonna we're gonna trade for both. It'll be fine. Alright, well, it's still raining. Um, and we do have a bunch of stuff to plant. We got pine saplings and spruce and birch. So let's just plant all the rest of these saplings. Is it 23 minutes and it'll grow? Sweet. Okay, so the rain is working here. So we're just gonna kind of spread these out throughout the area that we were in here. Uh, I'm not really doing a great job of, you know, keeping this even, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to refill in, you know, the trees we took out. There we go, and then we'll put the big pines. And then, of course, if it looks patchy, we can always grow more trees, uh, you know, plant more saplings. We do have a lot more in the inventory. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to get these trees planted before the rain stopped because it just sort of auto-waters them. I don't think you have to water them again. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they're just like crops. Two hours and 23 minutes for that to grow. Oh, one hour and 23 for like... Oh, this is interesting. Two hours and 23. And then 23 minutes for... Okay. So the trees grow different. Oh, that's interesting. So if we want to make an auto tree farm, it's going to honestly be like birches. Like these little small birch trees. Because they're 23 minutes to grow versus an hour and 23 minutes for... The, I guess it's a spruce tree. And then 2 hours and 23 minutes for the pine tree. So it's really not worth it to grow a pine tree or even a spruce tree. Because they give you a little bit of extra wood. But, you know, you could grow, what, in the time it takes to grow one pine tree, we could grow, like, three birches, four birches. So, 
one spruce tree, I mean, four birches. So that's like what we got to look at. Can can you get more wood off a birch tree, like off four birch trees than one spruce? We'll have to check. All right, almost fully done here. Just a few more pieces to clean up. We're just going to put this up on a lift. It's literally just that left. Uh, got to go defend the crops though. 23 seconds left. Unfortunately, I've been like eating the beets because I have no food. Um, got to gotta go feed a cow some corn, get some milk, and then we don't have to do that. But anyway, it's not a huge deal. I just want to save as many beets as possible to get soil uh, from Bill. Because as far as I can tell... Oh, wait, we can possibly craft soil? I don't know if you can craft soil or not. Bill might be the only way to get soil. doesn't matter. Where are these wolves at? Yeah, my crop, I know I know my crops are... Oh, I can eat these too. I forgot about that. We got these berries that just grow back here. Oh, what's up, guys? What's up? There's three of you. That's nice. Just three? Probably just three. You're gonna all die. No problem. I need guns. Guns would make this so much easier. Nice little auto turret system. There we go. Is that it? I think that's it. All right. Nice. That is all the logs around here, I think. So we'll let that grow back in and see how bad it looks and then possibly put down more saplings. And uh, now I'm going to go make a road in the correct spot. And then grow these crops and then go talk to Bill. Nice. We're getting there. I think that's pretty good. And we'll have this like just go around here. Something like this is actually probably pretty decent. I just want to make it look like it's, you know, the tree is part of the support structure, not just like the very edge of it. So I think this is good. Make a little walkway here. We can like you can walk through here. No problem. We can build a little step that goes up and walks across or have that connect to something that eventually goes out to the other tree and well, we're gonna have a tower actually that goes up this tree, right? No, that tree. I don't know. We're gonna have we're gonna have some stuff. This is a wonderfully large platform, though. This is gonna be great. Oh, nice! More wolves. What's up, guys? You just showing up? How's it going? I also realized it's actually really easy to just go straight out this way. It's gonna be there's gonna be a fair amount of roads coming out of this. It'll be fine. Can we? Can you die, please? Thank you. Perfect. Another wolf head. I know equipment. Nice. Uh, yeah, I could equip that, but I already have a wolf head, so I don't really need another one. All right, a minute left on this raid timer. Let's go, uh, get rid of our carrots. Looking at the reference list, uh, it's actually, it's more carrots than beets. It's four carrots for two soil. So let's collect all this stuff. And, uh, if we do, that gives us a total of 16 carrots. So we can get four packs of soil. And then we need 35 coal for each of those, and 6 beets gives us 50 coal. So that's basically 50 coal right there in a single stack. Uh, and then we probably have more coal up top on the platform that we can grab. But uh, right now our vehicle's over there. Look at that. It looks like a roadway now. You can actually see the opening in the trees. That's so cool. But yeah, we'll kill these wolves, and then we'll go head over to Bill's. I still got a lot more road refining to do. The refinery's a bit slow. But we'll head over to Bill's anyway, and then... Uh, and then, yeah, we'll deal with... My crops are under attack. I don't have any crops. Where are the wolves? Oh, there's one there. Oh, there's two more. Is it just three? Just three again? Oh, there's a fourth. Okay, that's good. I definitely want to make an auto... An auto defense system. Like, spud guns on sensors that automatically detect when, you know, an enemy or whatever is in front of it and just shoot. So you could arm the system. And then just, you know, whenever somebody comes, just blam. Just dead. Instant. It would be awesome. Like, you just have a line of spud guns right here aiming down the wall. And they would just blast at anything that comes, you know, within the detection zone of the wall. That would be super cool. That would be a wicked, wicked system. And then we don't have to defend ever. But I think we're good. I think that's it. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go get our car and get over to Bill's. Yeah, still a lot left to refine. So I'll, uh, I'll come back and do that later. Not a huge deal, to be perfectly honest, to refine stuff. Just sort of like a waiting game. But you can see here now we've got this epic road. So we can just drive down here and drive down that way and get out. There's a log that rolled down the hill, so we'll have to get out. I think the HQ is right over there somewhere. And then I also have to finish uh, chopping the rest of these trees as well. You can see we've sort of downed the trees here, but haven't really finished the chopping process. I guess we can do that right now. No more raids should spawn. But yeah, like, I wanted to have a road sort of going in two directions. One going down that hill just because it, it looks kind of open and it's nice and seems like it'd be an easy way to get in and out. And then this one going this way, which I'm pretty sure is like if we put the logbook down for the 4 Terra HQ, 
Yeah, it's literally straight this way. So that's kind of perfect. This will work. It's a nice little, nice little clean looking roadway. And of course, now we got tons of wood to keep working on the platforms. So that's just phenomenal. But we're going to head over to Bill's and, and kill six more wolves on the way, I guess. Get that all done. And uh, unfortunately, that's going to be the only side quest we do today. It's, uh, it's... <laughs> It's been like an hour of me growing crops, which is nice. We'll trade for some soil so we can grow more crops later. Uh, but also, I've just been sort of chopping trees, which is good. Need more materials to build up the base platform more. And then once we get that bottom base platform built with like the basement, we can start working on getting the automatic crafting system set up um, because we can connect them all with the tubes underneath the uh, the floor panels, which is exactly what we want to do. But yeah, this is this is perfect. A nice little roadway that comes out here. You know, we'll, uh, we'll deal with these trees a little bit later. Just grab the saplings. Another wolf. Perfect. Hey, buddy. Sorry, man. I gotta, you know, I gotta, yeah. Bill said he needs you to, I, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't be doing missions for Bill anymore. Bill does not seem like a stable individual. All right, let's grab our truck. And, uh, I'm just gonna fill up the refinery again, I guess. Might as well have a full refinery while we're driving to Bill's place. Uh, okay, well, I guess I can just do this the easy, old-fashioned way. Excuse me. Oh, it's raining again. That's cool. A lot of rain recently. That's weird. I didn't get any rain for, like, the first few days playing, and then all of a sudden now we're just getting rain. Like, this is, like, two days in a row? Or three days, I guess? Two out of three days where there's rain, so that's cool. I'm a big fan, to be honest. It means, like, easy crop watering, that's for sure. Although we're not growing anything right now. Oh, another wolf. Another wolf. Gotta kill all the wolves we see. Nice. 16. We're literally going to have so much wolf fur. I really hope there's something we could do with it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be throwing it out, honestly. I have so much already at home. And, uh, like, I know we can make the wolf armor. But this side mission for Bill apparently unlocks other armors. So hopefully they also consume wolf pelt. And uh, we, we should craft some serious armor at some point. I think it would help. Probably take less damage. I'm gonna kill this wolf as well. You're number 17. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Gonna need to eat more food, too. Let's just go... You know what? We get to Bill's. We'll find a cow. There'll definitely be a cow by Bill. We'll just force feed it a ton of... ton of stuff. Oh, God. This thing is so bad. It's sliding down the hill. It doesn't even have the traction. This is why we need a really, really heavy refinery tank with a better weight distribution than all of it on the front. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll get there eventually. I love the fact that you can force feed the cows. It's so much faster than having to just sit there and uh, wait for it to eat on its own time. This is much, much more efficient. It's too bad that cows don't load with the chunk, though. There's nothing that I don't think the mod makers could do to fix that. Like, if you make a cow farm back at your base, because we tried this before, Cosmo and I, and you make a cow farm, let's say, like we had one in our tree fort, and then sometimes when you load the chunk, the cow would be there and it would be no problem, and then sometimes when you load the chunk... Like, the cow would load before the tree would load, so then the cow would fall out of the tree. And I guess we could maybe make something on the ground, and maybe it would be more likely that the cow would stay contained. But it was kind of like a, you know, a toss-up. Every time you come back, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Same with, like, glow bug farms and things, so... You know, we could try it again, but I'm not sure if it'll work. Or maybe, maybe there's something that uh, I'm missing in the way to do it. But my experience was always, when you try to farm animals... They usually end up, you know, sort of despawning outside of whatever cage you put them in. And, uh, obviously that doesn't really work very well. Alright, I'm not seeing... Oh, there's another wolf. Didn't kill it. Boom. No way, did that not count? Oh, I crushed it with my vehicle and it didn't count. I have to actually kill them by hand. Because we were at 18 before, and then it did nothing. That sucks. Oh, free sunshake. That's nice. I can't believe that. It, like, literally got perfectly crushed with the vehicle. And that didn't count. Doesn't matter. We'll find two wolves around here. Let me see what else. This is all, uh... What, what do we got in this one? Anything? Component kits. Nice. Glow sticks. Don't really need the glow sticks. We'll just give them a toss. I guess in the mine, those would be kind of useful. They're not permanent, though. They're like flares. You throw them once, then they disappear eventually, so... It's not exactly a super useful thing. All right, Bill. You're over here. I'm going to leave my car here for now. I'm going to actually put this on the back. Help balance out the weight a little bit. And uh, let's go find some wolves. 
Oh, I guess while we're here, I might as well trade, Bill. What's up? Where are you at, Bill? Bill. Oh, you're in your house again. All right, yeah, let's trade. Let's do some trading real quick. Trade uh, coal blocks. Yes, trade that. Perfect. And then we'll trade two bunch of those. There we go. So now we have eight more soil. That's great. That's actually, that's fantastic. Gotta just basically farm beets and carrots for a while and just keep expanding the farm over and over again until we get a massive farm plot. And, uh, you know, it's fine. And then we'll start growing the other crops, get all the other seeds from Bill, really expand it. But I, I kind of want to get the automation of the farm set up before that, you know, because then we can actually, you know, we'll have to have like one of those like printer things again, where it's basically a line of, of water fountains that we turn on with a piston. Um, we'll do just like an automatic watering system probably to start. And then we'll look at doing an automatic harvesting and collecting system, uh, an automatic planting system. But... Honestly, the automatic planting and harvesting takes a lot of vacuum pumps, which is why I, it, it's going to be very resource heavy. Automatic watering is not nearly as bad. Just takes a lot of uh, a lot of watering things. And then we need a big water storage container so that we can pump a lot of water, have it all stored, and then use it all to water our farm. Anyway, boom. Last of the will wolves. We're going to talk to Bill. I was going to call them wolves because, you know, it's Bill. But no, we got last of the wolves done. Bill's going to give us some armor recipes. I'm kind of excited to see what they are. And then we're going to have to craft some armor. Um, I, I, depending on what they cost. We might have to craft them in the next episode. There's so much stuff to do. I've been I've been at this now for a couple hours. A lot of it, I will admit, has been spent grinding trees. That luckily for you guys, the edited version uh, does not include. But uh, yeah, it takes a long time to chop down a bunch of trees. It's good though. We needed the building materials anyway. And uh, it's always nice to grind some stuff out. Get some progression going. But here we go. Let's talk to Bill. Way to go. I'm already seeing less wolves. You clearly didn't look behind your house, Bill. There's one right out back. Alright. Quest completed. You unlocked armor helmet, armor chest plate, armor leggings, and armor boots. Okay, so it just unlocks a new set of armor. What is that? This is the wolf armor. Oh, it unlocks this stuff. Oh, that's armor boots. Wolf chest plate is that stuff. Okay, what does the armor do? Protects you blocking 5% of damage. Okay. Blocking 15% of damage, blocking 20%, and blocking 10. So if we had all of them, it would be a total of what? 15, 20, 20%, 40%, 50%. 50% 50 of damage with all four armor pieces? That's pretty good. We'll have to do that at some point. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Lots of stuff to do. Like I said, there's been a been a long episode for me, probably a little less so once I've edited it down. But uh, let me know what kind of things you want to see us do next. Lots of different progressions we could do. I'm going to still hold off on the Geiger counter for a bit because I want to get a few more of the side quests done as well as some more base development done. Uh, I'm going to clear out the rest of that road. But yeah, let me know. Do you think we should build some armor? Do you think we should uh, build up our, our refining vehicle, head back to the mine? Do you think we should uh, just sit around the base and do some more base building stuff? Maybe get some of the automatic farming done. Should we get the uh, vacuum pump set up with some of the automatic crafting stations? I mean, there's really there's really just a whole lot of stuff to do and a lot of stuff we can pick from. Or should we just do more side quests? You know, I just gave you guys like six or seven different options there. Vote now in the comments down below, you know, and uh, like, subscribe. We'll see you all next time. I'm, I need to really just drive on the roads that I make rather than driving through the forest. But we're back. It's fine. See you guys later.